Hi friends, we have an adventure that we're gonna start. It's gonna take us a couple days though. I'm gonna take you on a little tidbits of the last minute things that we need to do to get ready for Hawaii. And today's activity is kind of a last minute thing. I have an appointment to get my nails done in two days. And pedicure, manicure, I'm gonna get dip nails. My nails need to have a manicure and then the dip nails, if I'm gonna be completely honest. But as I was sitting here editing, celebrating Kaylee's birthday, sending them off to get her birthday dinner, I got a message from a friend of mine, the one I went and got my nails done um, with a couple weeks ago. Um, she invited me to go get nails done again. And I was like, she's like, I'm bored. Her husband and son are out of town. They're actually out of the country. And she's like, I'm just so bored. Can we go get our nails done again? And so I'm gonna just go get my nails done, like my fingers. I'm gonna go get a manicure and the dip nails. It's sunny today. I might just get a manicure and kind of clean up my nails. They're very short and stumpy. Um, but if they, <sighs> this sun, you guys, it's a rare thing for ha to have the sun get in our way here in Seattle. Um, I'm just gonna try and decide what um, kind of nail situation I'm gonna do once I get there and find if I can find the right color that I want. I want bright pink. I want it to match my swimsuit like it did last October. I had the perfect color, but I'm going to a different nail salon. So I need to make sure that they have the right color that I want. Um, so I'm just gonna bring you on that journey and then in a few days I will take you to get my toes done. I won't show you my feet because you have to pay for feet. <laughs> But I'll take you along that journey and then over the next few days I'm just going to take you along on all the different things that I need to do to get ready for this trip We might even do one more of those things tonight um, But I am pretty busy. So going forward um, now I'm trying to Edit and pack and get ready to go. So I'm trying not to have daily videos right now and so so that I don't have to edit them. So I'm just gonna take you on little snippets of the next few days um, as we prepare to go. So if you see that I'm in different clothes and it's different weather, just know that these are little clips from different days. <laughs> All right, again, I forgot to document the journey of getting my nails done because we just got to talk so much, but I got bright pink um, and I love them. Uh, it feels so much better to have these nails on. My other ones were so raw and they kept tearing, so it feels good to have them on. But because it took us a little extra time to find a nail salon that would take us tonight, I'm late to pick Abby up from work. So we're gonna go to Target and buy our airplane snacks, which is our next task for travel. All right, we forgot to get a bag at Target, so we found one in the garage to like pile it all in. I got Ashley some <laughs> Flip flops. This is literally the only shoe in a size four. So I need you to try those on really quick. They're only four bucks. So it's like, make them work. Um, they'll fit. They'll be fine. And then you want to look at Crocs? Yeah. All right. So here is what we got from Target. Ashley has her shoes. Um, did they fit? Can you try them on real quick? And then we got some um, granola bars dipped in chocolate. Um, and then Abby chose chocolate, milk chocolate M&M's. Dad likes peanut butter M&M's. Abby got some mascara and a new little wallet um, that she's gonna use with her lanyard. Then Chelsea and Ashley, trolleys, is that okay, Ash? You have, you should still have candy from your birthday. Nope, that's Abby's. She chose goldfish because I got you Pringles because I thought you wanted Pringles. It's gonna be fine. I did get you these oranges, yes. Um, everyone did choose, almost everyone chose the Pringles. Um, everyone likes just different flavors. So that's it for our car snacks. Why do we keep saying car snacks? That's it for our airplane snacks. All right, new day, new nail salon. <laughs> Actually, it's my regular nail salon that we're gonna head to today. I kept my old appointment for my toes um, and I'm gonna go and get them done now. Kaylee and Abby are gonna go after school. Um, I was gonna go with them, but um, I just thought that they would have fun 
going themselves. They're just gonna head right over from school. In fact, I'm gonna try and get them an earlier appointment so they can just head straight there. So, I did just do one of my, it's probably my second to last stops at Target, well, at a store. I got some ranch packets and some baby carrots. Um, I only got them here because I had a prescription to pick up. Um, otherwise, I need to go and get some food at Costco. Why are you getting food at Costco if you're about to leave, Dana? It's because um, I'm going to get fresh food for the airplane and the car ride, but I don't know if I've ever, if I've explained our situation with our travel plans. So I can chat with you about that here in just a second as soon as I'm not driving. All right, I'm gonna pull up here for a second and we'll chat. I'm gonna go get myself a drink to take with me to um, the nail salon. But I do have my water. I am drinking it. This is my second one for the day. Um, it's only 11 o'clock. Um, but our travel plans. Okay. <laughs> In order to save money, maybe if you've already been watching our videos, um, you'll know this. In order to save money, approximately $4,800 savings, um, we are flying out of Portland. We live in Seattle. Why wouldn't you fly out of Seattle? Because the flights were $1,100 each versus $400 out of Portland. We had points to pay for all the airfare and um, it was just better to just drive to Portland. And so we are going to be driving to Portland the very early time in the morning. And then we will drop our car off at hotel, the same hotel we did last time. It worked out really, really good. And it's only 70 bucks for a, the car to sit there in a right in the front of the hotel parking lot where they can keep an eye on it with the cameras and whatnot and uh, then we get a shuttle to the airport super easy and super affordable <laughs> so uh, I want to take some muffins that I've already gotten from Costco and I want fresh food once we get to the airport um, the kids usually are very hungry by the time we get checked in and get sitting there waiting um, to catch our flight and I would rather have them eat fresh food in the airport and then um, snacks on the plane because they tend to not want to eat fresh food on the plane. I've just learned this from many years of traveling with the kids um, that they want snacks on planes and that they have a lot of snacks packed. So I'm going to tell them, look, you need to eat your carrots and your blueberries and your, I don't think I have apples left. I think we can get some grapes um, and then a cucumber and I'll cut, cut that up or the little baby ones. Um, eat your fresh food first and then you can have snacks on the plane. So I'm going to get my beverage of choice and then we're going to head to the nail salon and then I think we're going to go home and clean the fridge out. Wow. I think I'm going to, I don't know, I don't want to clean the fridge out, but we need to. And I need to go to Costco. We'll just see what time I have. I have the rest of the afternoon. I don't have any plans beyond this nail appointment. So we might run to Costco, then go home and clean out the fridge. It's not too bad. It's just it needs to be cleaned out to be left, you know, unattended for a, a week plus. <laughs> so let's go do that. Okay, they're getting feed access. They're all cute. So I got it to match my cute little flower. That's why I didn't want to have bright pink because I want it to match the flower down on my ankle. So um, I've, I'm not having good luck with like payment options <laughs> where I'm getting my nails done these days. At the other place, um, we thought they would have Venmo and I had given my credit card to Kaylee to get her Cafe Rio that day. And then my debit card wasn't working for some reason so they had to type it in manually and my friend gave her card to her husband who was in Japan. <laughs> And so neither one of us had a way of paying. And then today, um, their Venmo was down. And so luckily I had my credit card. I'm scraping my car on the, on the bush down there. Um, anyway, so I just had to pay with my card versus my um, Hawaii money, which is unfortunate. I try and keep everything for Hawaii on my cash budget. So my friend Venmo me her payment yesterday that's why I knew I would have Venmo money. <laughs> my friend didn't come with me. She wasn't feeling well. Um, I wasn't able to make it today. I don't blame her for wanting to stay home. It's rainy and cold and 
Anyway, the warm water bath felt really good on my feet today. <sighs> as much as I wanna go home and like curl up with a blanket on the couch, I can't, I gotta keep going. I am actually going to have to, um, what am I gonna try and do? Battery. Sorry, battery died. I was thinking I would be able to wait and go to Costco tomorrow when Jason has a day off. But that two gallons of milk that we got at Costco last, I told you it wouldn't last very long. It's gone. So I am going to go to Costco to get those fresh food items. And I am going to get two gallons of milk. And I'm going to try and search for one that has the expiration, the furthest date out. So that I can use it at least the day that we get home. <laughs> so that I don't have to, or the morning after we get home, we get home late at night. But that way at least I don't have to get milk. The kids can have cereal or I'll have oatmeal or like toast and I don't even know if I'll have eggs. I don't think I'm gonna get eggs today because I don't want those to go bad. So let's head to Costco. I think I'm dreading doing the fridge the most. So I think I'm trying to find as many things as I can to do around town before I go home. All right, well, anticlimactic. We got blueberries that are like expensive, but I'm gonna get them and milk. And that's all I got. Because grapes were too much for pounds, so I'm gonna go to the grocery store. It's the least I've ever gotten at Costco. I take you that back. This is on sale. I guess it's on sale when we get back. Um, should I get it now? I'll get it later. I'll get that when we come back. It's on rebate. Okay, I'm at the grocery store now, and life is not working toward my in my favor right now. I got a pepper and I got some of these cucumbers, even though I didn't want to have to cut them. I wanted them to be just the little ones, but they don't small, sell a small enough container of them. And also there's no grapes. I took a risk. I could have gotten grapes at Costco for more than what I thought they would be here. But now they don't even have grapes, so. I take it back, they do have them. They're just like two, they're over 250. They're like 275 a pound. But if I buy strawberries from here, I have to buy three of them to get $2 a pound. Maybe we have waffles for dinner tonight or tomorrow. And we have, this is a lot. But I think the kids would like it. It's a lot of strawberries. All right, I'm at a red light. I ended up getting one thing of strawberries, paid the $6 for two pounds, whatever because I just couldn't think about how we could go through six pounds of strawberries. To be fair, my kids could have pounded through the extra four pounds. They could have done it, but I just couldn't justify it. Um, anyway, I'm headed home. <laughs> I think I am just a glutton for the nurse's offices to be calling me all day, every day, because now Chelsea is stuck in the nurse's office with a bloody nose that won't stop. She gets bloody noses, we know this, but it just won't stop, and it's been over a half hour. So they want me to come pick her up, which I'm sure Chelsea does too. It's just annoying, so I'm gonna go and get her real quick. Luckily, I'm, I'm in the car, I'm already headed there. She's like, can you come? I was like, dude, I'll be there in like two minutes. <laughs> so she's like, wow, really? And I was like, yeah, I'm literally right in front of the school. So we'll go get her. You can't see it now, but Chelsea has blood <laughs> all, we'll show you too when we get home. All the yeah, all down her shirt. Poor thing. They were like, as the janitor or what the security guard was walking down the hall, he didn't see me. They just saw a blood trail, and they're like, "Did a fight happen? Did someone yeah. should not say anything? <laughs> Did someone pop you in the nose?" Well, no. Like, I went into the bathroom because I had to get tissue, and then like the janitor comes back. He's like, "Oh, are you the girl with the bloody nose?" And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> um, tell the security guy I'm fine. I'm just like, yeah. Cause he was panicky. Cause he's like, was there a fight? What, what happened? I know. Happened? Is that why the security officers were coming outside? Yeah. That was because of you. <laughs> Cause I like the teacher didn't oh. tell anyone to like like why you were bleeding. Yeah. So oh I just my gosh, that's so funny. Cause they were coming out of the building when I came in. Yeah. Oh goodness sakes, you're such <laughs> drama. <laughs> so needing of attention. I was just doing my thing. It'd be actually funny if someone popped you in the nose. <laughs> All right, life is kind of chaotic around here. I got home and I had to go to the loo really bad. And then as soon as I got out from that, the doorbell rang and I was like, people don't come over. <laughs> it was my niece. 
she flies back to Virginia tomorrow and she had left something here. Um, so that was kind of fun that I got to see her. And now we get to do my dreaded um, chore of cleaning out the fridge. Because I have to put this stuff away in a way that tells the children, do not eat this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna prep the strawberries at all right now. Um, I'm gonna probably do it, well I can tell you guys when I'm gonna do it because that'll give away when we're leaving. So, <laughs> I am going to, well I'm not gonna prep those veggies. I love fresh vegetables and fruits. Look how colorful. But let's look at the fridge. It's not bad. I just, it's just needing to be cleaned out. Like on this side, I forgot to eat the other spring roll that Jason got me from Panda, and now I don't have sauce. <laughs> we have, you know, a bajillion open bottles of juice, and they keep not, they keep opening new ones. I'm like, would you just stop? But these are both full enough that I can't like dump one into the other. So that needs to be fixed. Um, I'm gonna take the chicken off of this. This is what we got the other day. Um, I'm gonna need to take the chicken off of this little bone here and put it in the freezer. Um, that's bacon, that can stay there. That's garbage. So I'm just gonna go through the fridge here. No one eats the ends for the bread. Um, I'm gonna make probably sandwiches for Ashley for school tomorrow with that. So that's fine. We have garlic right there. I don't like the garlic being there. I like to have this whole space available for food like this. I'd rather have that stuff here. Butter. I'm just going to clean this out with you guys. We're going to scoot that back. Shut that. This is probably bad here. Then the cottage cheese is almost gone. See, look. Two gallons of milk, and we bought milk on Monday. It is Thursday. Up here, I'm just going to put some of this stuff on the little spinny thing. We probably need to do some pasta with that white sauce. Jacob brought more pickles over. Did he take the other ones home? Yeah, he did. We need to do pasta with white sauce and red sauce for dinner tonight so we can use those up. I got Kaylee some mango salsa the other day. We don't like um, macaroni salad. I'm gonna see if Jacob wants that. Um, I don't know who got peaches out, but they didn't open it put that on this rack. I think we can officially get rid of the frosting. We don't need to save that. Okay, so I gotta figure that one out. I'm gonna put some stuff up here so that I can wipe this shelf down. This is officially past expiration. As much as I like the price of milk at Costco, I can't stand what it does to this shelf. It's all just dried milk from dripping down the bottle. Can't stand it. Okay, so I've got this all cleaned out. I'm going to start wiping down the shelves. The fruit, literally, we have no fruit left. That's why I know that they're going to be tempted with the fruit I just got. So I think we're going to have pasta and salad tonight. We've got to use up that lettuce. Um, then down here, I know there's nothing in here except for two expired yogurts. At least I think they're expired. March 30th. So that goes in the garbage. Okay, that side is just condiments. They last just fine. So that's it. We did pretty good. I think that's it on this track up here. Oh, there's another frosting. Fantastic. Let's see about that one. Um, yeah, that one's probably gone too. And then what is that marshmallow? Is this marshmallow fluff? What is this? Oh, okay. That's just... All right, we're good. Okay, fridge is wiped out. Now I'm going to put things kind of back where they go. I like that this bottom shelf is a little bit more cleared out. I'm gonna do a cute little row of my veggies there. Obviously more when I get back. I just stacked these two here when I was trying to get everything cleaned out. Actually, I'm gonna put that garlic in the very back corner and then I'll line up my veggies there when I get home. I'm gonna finish these in the next few days. There's not much cottage cheese left. So we're gonna do that there. I've got a drink here. I should probably bring in another loaf of bread for the kids to eat. This guy goes back down here. I will, that's chicken salad. I'll probably have a chicken salad sandwich here in a little bit. Okay, so then we've got milk to go back in and all these fruits and veggies. I'm actually going to put in here and then I'm going to put a giant sign on it that says do not eat all of this. 
because I do not eat. Okay, none of that is for eating. You think they'll think they'll do it? <laughs> just have lettuce, kids. Just have the lettuce. And I stacked up these dishes for Kaylee to do. She's gonna have to clean these pans um, by hand. Um, but Abby made cookies last night. I had no idea. I got down here this morning and I was like, oh, when did she make those? I went to bed at nine, so I had no idea she made cookies. See, they have fresh food they can eat. There's three bananas. Just one of them doesn't get one. Next up, I'm just kind of lightly cleaning up the pantry here. Um, I had a whole bunch of stuff here that I had to kind of put where they belong. So I've done that and I found a bag of oats that I'm gonna pour into this bucket. And I see a box of Cheerios right here. So I think we'll open that up and put that in here and in here because I don't have any goldfish for that bucket. Probably we'll get more when I get home. Okay, oats are done. I actually packed a bunch of these veggie pouches for Ashley and then I pulled out the three little ranch packet pouches that I have. I bought more at Target today. Those go into our bags. We need to eat those. Well, we, they're not three ounces, so actually we can take that through security. Um, they're only one and a half ounces, so we're gonna take that for our veggies. So I'm gonna put this guy back. Cereals are now done, right there, and right there. We're gonna take these to our bags. We're gonna pack those. Next step is to have clean sheets when I come home. So I'm gonna take the dirty ones off and wash them. But now that I have two sets, I can put this one right on. Will I do that right now or let Jason do it? I'm gonna let Jason do it. <laughs> I'm gonna get these ones pulled off and washed. Okay, take that to the laundry. So I've got Chelsea's bloody clothes in this wash and washing the rest of her stuff so that I can finish packing for her. Then this one over here just needs to be on a little wrinkle release and then I will fold that one because I forgot to take it out last night. And then I've got some towels and the sheets to wash and I'm caught up on laundry. Okay, <laughs> so since so Chelsea is now suddenly the center of attention for this video, it was supposed to just Dad. be about all the things that I need to do to get ready to go, but you know, she likes to be drama and take the center stage, <laughs> which is actually the polar opposite. No. Chelsea does not like the center of attention, I correct? Don't. Tell me that last little story that, uh, about your friends. Um, well, like, my friends don't have any friends. What oh, are you stop. About? She's friends with the I'm whole school. I'm, stop. I'm, I'm, your friends are my friends. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so, like, my friend texted me once. You would pick me up, and I was like, what happened? Or no, it was while I was sitting in the nurse. And then I was like, what do you mean? I just got a nosebleed. You watched me leave. And she's like, no, security is outside our room right now asking us why there's <laughs> blood outside. And I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I think the per appropriate phrase was, hi. It's me. I'm the problem. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> I have a surprise for you today. It actually is appropriate to give it to you today as kind of a, I'm sorry, you had a bloody nose. What? It's on the counter right there. Oh, no. I'm going to tell you the back story, but No, no, no. No. Just let her open it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. It's a water bottle, I think. It is a water bottle. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay. Why do I need it? For travel, like for our trip. I wanted to give it to you early. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Is that okay? You want to use it? You use like it? it? No, I said, how do you use it? Well, you just figured it out. Like so, mm -hmm. geniuses can figure it out. <laughs> what? She's using a taco blanket because <laughs> her favorite sweatshirt is in the wash. Yeah. In case anyone's wondering, she doesn't mind wearing short, but her shoulders. My legs aren't cold. Legs are never cold, but her arms are. Yeah. Go ahead, quickly. Okay. What? Quickly. What so she wanted the I white water bottle. Okay. Is it? It's a water bottle. Stop being snarky. Just tell her the deal. That was my lid, but I wanted this lid, so I swapped. <laughs> but in order to get that one, I felt bad, so I bought the second one. So you got an extra birthday present. Because <laughs> I felt guilty. She's like, no one will ever know. And I was like, well, I will, and I feel guilty about that. And you could use a new water bottle. I like yeah, this. It looks fine. So yeah, fun. I knew you wouldn't care. And I knew you would like the black. Yeah. So, Water. happy early birthday. Okay, our job today is to turn this into something that we can actually take. <laughs> it's kind of turned into a chaos mess. 
as we try and figure out how to add the shoes. All right, our little luggage scale holder thing is out of battery. We might go buy one at Target, but for now we're just <laughs> using him as our, our scale. We're at 48 pounds for that one. Yeah. Is that what we just came up with? Okay, so we need to weigh this one. I think we are at, what did we say, 46 for this one? So we'll double check. No, no, that was 46 until we added stuff. This one was over, it was 51 point something, yeah, almost so 52. We're gonna weigh this one. And we added a whole third suitcase. So we've got our towels in here with Ashley's veggie drinks, um, the air mattress with the shoe shoved in there so that it doesn't slide back and forth, and then all the other shoes. And I know this is all loosey-goosey, but we just needed to have the third suitcase to make it all fit. Okay, this one was 48.4 pounds. So we have like a two pound wiggle room between that suitcase and this suitcase. And we have plenty of room in here in case they make us move things, but I don't think we'll have to. And I've got my cute outfit for the plane set out. I had to pull these out. I forgot that I packed them and I forgot that I wear shorts on the plane. So I pulled those out. This is what I just got at Costco a couple days ago. So we are going to end here. <laughs> Call it good on trying to get ready for travel. We still have a few more days, but we are close. If you can tell, I'm putting out my outfit and I actually need to pull out some makeup from my bag oh, and I'm just gonna keep it out. Idea. I'm gonna make a little like makeup bag and keep it into my actual carry-on stuff. I'll have to put my duty bag in there. We're gonna say goodnight to you, or say goodbye to you guys. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you in Maui.